All right, here's a uh, urban uh, urban cowboy forest deodorant, two point eighty ounces. No aluminum. Ingredients are. It's gonna go right in the ring. Right there. And it smells like. That's what it. Lo oh, that's what it looks like. I don't really know exactly what. I know what it smells like, but I don't know how to describe it. It smells good, but um, I put this lid on here. There's no aluminum. Uh, and I didn't have like a rash or anything. I used this other deodorant right here, which this works really good. Like with odor control, it works really good as baking soda. I'm pretty sure is why it works so well, but um, the thing is, I've used this on different occasions, and I always end up having like a sort of like irritation. And I was thinking, oh, maybe it's the propylene, whatever, but propylene glycol. But then I actually use baking soda by itself, like just with water, and use that. And obviously, it doesn't work as good as this because, as far as um, staying on you, because it's going to dry out and then fall, you know, starts falling off. It works good with odor protection, but it doesn't stay, you know, regular baking soda if you just use water and baking soda. Versus this, because it has other stuff to keep it intact. But the problem is, so I did an experiment to see if it was a baking soda or the propylene glycol. I'm pretty sure it's a, um, it could be the, both propylene glycol and baking soda, but the point is this works really well, except the problem is, is that I had irritation with it, sort of like, a ra you know, I don't know if it was a rash or just very dry skin from it, so you got irritated. So I had to stop using it, but I bought this just in case I have nothing else to use. And then if I have to use it, use it, and then once you get an irritation, you just stop. But which is sort of stupid. Why the you know, reason to buy it if you're having, if you had no, if I know I had issues with it, but I have this. One I used, I like the smell, I didn't have any rash or irritation from it. Uh, it seemed to work really good. Pretty good. Um, I'd probably say it's not, doesn't work as good as this. And this, um, I feel like I'm, I probably will have to use it, like if I use it and I sweat, a little, sweat throughout the day, I'd have to put more on. Versus this where I can just put it on and probably not have to put any more on until like, the next day or something I don't know uh, but two deodorants aluminum free uh, I would recommend this as far as with working with odor control but I wouldn't recommend it if you don't want to possibly have irritation because I had irritation from it. But then again, someone else might not. But but it does work really well. The odor control, at least for me, it worked really well. And this thing smells really good. I didn't have any issue with this one. But as far as like irritation or anything. But these are both aluminum free. So whatever, I mean. Basically, I think this smells good. This smells more like chemically, chemically, like artificial, I mean. But it works really well. It's just that the irritation thing is like, ugh, annoying. Basically, I think of this sort of like if someone eats something that, you know, uh, well, something like when I eat food that I know it's gonna give me side effects but it tastes good. It's kind of like this, like this works really well, but it, you have to pay 
you know, you have consequences from using it. At least I did because of the irritation. I don't know why the fuck I keep saying this a million times, but because I don't know what else to freaking say. No wonder these videos get no views. Some of the boringest videos I probably ever recorded. Now I'm just trying to make it entertained by saying that, but it's really just stupid as fuck. That's the end of this stupid video.